Right, hello everybody. This is a uh, tutorial on how to make your intro. Uh, just a simple intro. Um, can be used for other things as well. On Cinema 4D. Um, uh, what we need to do is first we need to get your name in. So we go on MoGraph, we go on MoText, and we got some new text here. So we go on Text, we take that off, and give it a name. I'm just going to give it Tutorial. Like that. I don't. If I've spelled it wrong, oh well. And anyway, right. We just need to get a, um, an OK font. I'll uh, just pick my font now. I'll choose one that I've used quite a lot, fairly a lot anyway. There it is radioactive net. Can't remember where I got this from, but um, if I remember, I'll show it to let you know. If you like it, anyway. Um, just type in. What that was. Uh, we need to make the depth of 90, which makes it thicker. Um, and once we got that, we. Oh, yeah, by the way, I pressed the line, the middle, just to get it to the middle. And we can change the height here to whatever we want. So if you want to make it bigger, you can. If you want to make it smaller, you can. In the bottom corner here. Uh, so I'm just going to take it back to 200. There we go. Uh, now we got 200 there, right? Uh, we need to. Uh, what we need to do is we need to go on um, that, the Motex, Control C, right? Um, just left click again, like somewhere else, and press Control B. And that should make a second one. Uh, you can move that wherever you want, but I, uh, what I'm going to do next will give it a nice bit of effect. Now, where it says depth, half that to 45. Go on caps. Go on fill it cap. Uh, on the first one and then radius is 10 and on the second one just again fill it cap radius 10 and that this should give it a nice effect and we just move that into position um, right, once we got that gives it a bit of a nice effect there give it a bit of glowing effect um, uh, on materials it says materials double click three times to make three materials um, let's go on the first one. We go on colour. Uh, we need it. Um, whatever colour you want here. I'm just going to go for a quick green. Because I can. Because I can. And, and press uh, reflection. Go on that again. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go on green again. And now on there. It should be ticked there. And that should give it a nice glowing, luminous effect. Now, once we got that. Um, we take that off. We just drop this either into wherever you are, like that. That that's the Motex one, the first one, or wherever it is on here. So just drop onto the top one. There we go, and we'll go onto the second map. We make it black here. Um, and we'll go on color, black. We go on uh, reflection ticket. Give it black again, yeah. Um, should give it a nice effect as well, and drop that into Motex. Uh, that shouldn't be Motex one. Just anyway, just drop it into there. Anyway, that gives it a bit of a nice effect there. So just line it up. There we go. Mm, does that look schmexy or schmexy? <laughs> uh. We just highlight them both and just hide them just a tad. Meaning. Anyway, now we got that. We just uh, put some planes in. We'll put some planes in to give it a nice studio effect. So we get plane. And just hire it a little bit. And then we, what we need to do is we need to press go into size. We'll make it about. Uh, one thousand, so about there. Well, in fact, we'll make it five thousand. Makes a bit more sense. Not five thousand. Uh, so, what, what would you say? I'd say about. Um, don't want to spend forever on this, right? So, three thousand, three thousand, whatever it is, whatever sizes. Uh, what we need to do is on this map, we need to make it color, white, uh, reflection gives it a nice effect again white 
uh, we turn the brightness down to about the there we go just turn it back to there and what we need to do is you need to place it on the first plane right, get the plane control C you know the and control V and then we go on to this tool here this road this like arrow to arrow tool click that looks like a rainbow kiss but you know and uh, we rotate that to about 90 degrees so it's like facing upwards oh uh, about oops about I'm having a bit of trouble there about 90 Don't have to be exact on exact on, but um, I sometimes like it that way. So what we need to do is we need to click the plane one. Uh, we need to go on to this tool here. It's like four hours intersecting, and we go press hold the green and um, slide the mouse uh, right or left depending on where you want to go. So we want to see. Uh, go about there, and now once that's duplicated, we'll have a look at this is that go on that then we press we'll press this render button here it only renders just a um uh, an image of it just to give it a nice effect see it like bounces off the edge there and it gives it a nice reflecting and underneath as well so if you don't like that you don't have to have reflection on that map there but i prefer it i don't know why so i think for it so now what we need to do is we need to, I'm going to show you how to like uh, make animations with the text or whatever object you have. So what we need to do is we need to go on to your, we need to highlight Motex and Motex 1 because they're all together. And what we need to do, we, we can, right, we, I use key, manual keyframing because uh, auto keyframing sometimes like messes you up. But, so what we need to do is we need to set it to about 60 or something. Or about about 65, right? About 65. Right, what we need we'll keyframe wait. Um where the object is, we'll keyframe that. So there we go, keyframe. And then we'll take it back to zero. And we can use this for a rotate. So let's rotate this about 360. About 360, and then what, what we can do is we press that tool again, the cross section tool, and bring it outwards. So, in some retrospects, we have this. And if we press the green play button here, we can end up with something like this, and it like slides in. But that's for object movement. Now, if you want a camera movement and an object movement, you just do that with the next thing I'm going to show you. So, it's I don't like camera movement and um, object movement, but that's just me. You might be different, you may not be. Well, anyway, let's take this back to about the uh, controls Z it all. Just control Z, yeah, there we go. Now if we move on timeline, uh, we don't get any fuss. So here we can have it about up to 60. And what we can do is uh, we will just move over a bit. Uh, let me just align this up just quick. Uh, just right there. Set. We'll take too long. So what time am I on? Oh, nine minutes, am I right? Um, just have a look here. Slide through. Right, and now we got that. Uh, just make somewhere like that. Like, and then what we need to do is we hold down light and we'll go on to uh, camera. And now what this does is we, we are like inside a camera now. And so what we do is I people would normally have auto keyframing on, but I choose to do manually as I've said. Now what we need to do is we need to keyframe. In fact, no, we need to keyframe. We go back to zero. I don't. I normally don't like doing this, but uh, go to zero. We'll keyframe that. 
I don't normally do it backwards and we'll go to 30, 30. we scroll out a bit oh yeah what we need to do is we need to double tap the camera um, we click on the camera we get cameras scene cameras and then click camera there we go now we're inside the camera and now what we need to do is we need to use that shot to go outward a bit and so it's like that keyframe it there take it up to about 45 uh, we'll zoom in a bit uh, we'll move that over to there keyframe that uh, we'll move it to about 65 uh, we uh, move that over there to where tutorials is well where it says tutorial and then we'll keyframe that and now what we need to do is from there we need to go up to about 80 uh, pull back a bit and then move over and now you can see we have this massive loop and then what we need to do is keyframe there now so that loop is right we press the green and it comes out like that uh, it's a bit fast I know but uh, this is how we do it we need to separate things so what we need to do is we need to change this to about I think you should really do this between the beginning of the video because what this does is it um, it makes the frames a bit larger but it will take a w little while to render it will normally take um, just something like this would normally take about about one to about half an hour half an hour uh, so what we need to do is we need to make it so 120 you don't have to but I choose to and we need to uh, make that out of it and now we need to move the um, keyframes just a bit longer so we move that last keyframe to 120 uh, we need to move that keyframe to oh, about between there 90 and 100 it's about there we need to move this keyframe in between there there and we need to move this keyframe just a little bit longer and now as I say I pr I would prefer to like ha to do this at the beginning of the video so right, once we start there it should go a little bit slower comes out there there we go and now once it's like that I need to do this quick I haven't got much long left and there we go now so we, now when we got that we'll need to go to file uh, export oops we got file uh, no actually no no we need to go to render settings we need to go on output where it says here we need to change that to 1280 by 7 720 and now that's HDTV um, and resolution well it might depend so I'm gonna have it on a hundred you can have it up to where width is uh, it just makes it a little more high definition but it does take long, longer to render so um, we need to click this all frames um, 0 to 120 uh, render region what region uh, that's all okay um, so we've gone general save you see format as a quick time quick time movie that's wrong quick time movie we go to wherever you want to save the file so I'm just gonna save it on my desktop just quickly I'm running out of time and in the next video I will be sh I will be showing you how, how to put like music on it in After Effects in After Effects CS4 so I'm gonna in fact I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna end it up with part one here but if you have any questions or comments uh, subscribe as well and like alright um, thanks this is tutorial on Cinema 4D Render